feel like they're a bit too far away. Come closer, guys. My mom's calling me. Hey. Yeah. What? Night? What the f Hey guys, today I have sat down in my comfortable couch to do a classy little Q&A because that has been a minute. If you've been here since day one, you know that my first ever YouTube video was a Q&A. I asked you on Instagram to ask me some questions and um, you did. Um, so I, I think we're just gonna stop the talking and um, do some more talking. Let's get into this Q&A. So I think we're just gonna start from the bottom. The first question is, and it's a question I get asked so often, is your hair color natural? And um, it is, it's 100% natural. I have once had some sort of dye in it. I can insert a picture of it. It was for a job and it was, I think they called it a gloss. It was supposed to go out in two weeks and it did. So that's the only time I've ever had my hair color, but this, should be back to my natural color. Next question. What music do you listen to? So if you guys don't know, I love music and I don't just listen to anything. Like I don't just put on a random song and I'm like, it's fine. I listen to something that gives me goosebumps. Also, I grew up in a household with a lot of music because my dad works with speakers and technology and sound systems and stuff like that. He's been a DJ, my brother is a DJ. Like there's a lot of music in the house always. Back to the question. <laughs> I love like R&B, alternative R&B, I think is always my like top music genre when my Spotify rap thing comes on. My favorite songs at the moment. So I don't really have like a playlist. One song actually that I will forever go back to is Fountains. It's from Drake's album called um, Certified Lover Boy, but it's featuring Thames. So good. I recently discovered Pink Panthers. I think that's how you pronounce her name. But I'm not sure what genre that is, if it's like a UK garage or something. I don't know. I love the one called Passion. I'm gonna show you two more. This is just like an artist that my boyfriend has shown me. Fun fact, my boyfriend and I started like clicking because of our like music taste. It was so similar. That's kind of like how we, not how we started talking, but that's like how I knew like, oh, he likes music. Bonus points for that. He showed me this English guy called Sampha, Sampha, and um, oh my gosh, his voice sounds heavenly. Um, my current favorite of his is the song called Hold On. And then I think my all time favorite artist is Brent Fias and I discovered him because my brother were listening to him in the shower and um, I shazammed it. I think I was 16 back then. And he's coming to Copenhagen and I can't wait. My memory card just lost space. Well, we're back on track now. That was my little music rant. And um, yeah, I hope you got some inspo. What sports are you doing? Currently, none. I really enjoy walking. I literally walk to everything in Copenhagen because I hate biking and I hate taking the metro. It stresses me out. Currently it's walking, but if it's not walking, it would either be yoga, if that counts as a sport, and Pilates. Someone's asking how I choose my outfits. Honestly, some days an idea will just pop up in my head. Other days, if I'm completely like, I have no idea, I will go on Pinterest and then I usually find something. Going on Pinterest and trying to recreate outfits and putting my own twist to it is my like, go-to. Next question. Did you go to university or are you planning to? Let's talk about school, guys. I think I'm meant to be doing something creative in my life. The 10 years I've been going to school was awful. I absolutely hated it. You know those little breaks we have in school between different subjects and stuff? Loved it. Loved my class and all the people. All the school stuff was just like, not for me. I have never ever had any intentions of me studying. So uh, no, I haven't been to any university and I'm not planning on it. You never know what's gonna happen and if I get some sort of interest, but if I were to go to school again, it would be something very creative. 
are you and Zach engaged? So I was actually gonna wait a little bit with telling you guys this, but no, we're not. <laughs> so many of you guys have asked how Zach and I met and I actually did a pretty fun video that I had totally forgot about. We are basically telling the story in that video. So I don't know if I should just post that or tell you now. I think I'm just gonna tell you now and then I can see if I wanna edit the video and like post that too. Long story short, it was back in 2000 and... I was 18, so it must have been 2019. Um, and I was a little ballerina back then. Um, and we had ballet from Monday till Saturday, but that specific Saturday was off for some random reason and it was never like we never had the Saturday off We would always go to practice. Um, so my friend and I who also is from Aarhus Went to Aarhus on a Friday instead of a Saturday and then we randomly like s decided to go out Yeah, we were we ended up at this shitty bar club kind of thing called old irish i think there is one in like every city and i don't know i think it's different from city to city we would for some reason always go there but it is a bit shitty i would say Zach was 19 at the time he would always go to a place that was like 20 plus but for some reason he could always get in that random friday i swear to god everything is so random he did not get into that club uh so he ended up at the same bar club same that I went to and so he saw me, went over to me and I kind of have my eye on someone else and like I thought Zach was a bit annoying. It ended up with us like getting each other's snap and we kissed and stuff on the dance floor. We just kept texting. We made a plan that he would go to my place and um, spend a few days and that's when we became boyfriend and girlfriend. And we have almost been together for four years. It's insane, guys. Would you move to another city? Honestly, no. I mean, I already moved from Aarhus to Copenhagen. So much stuff has happened in Copenhagen and I'm so grateful to be living here. Um, but if I were to move to any other city, I think you all know I would want to move to Paris. I think what I would do is get an apartment in another city and then maybe live there like part-time. Favorite clothing brands, not too expensive. It's not a brand, but thrifting is a really good way to find unique stuff that's not always too expensive. Sarah is a really good one that's not expensive. Um, I don't like the fact that it's fast fashion. I really like Brand Melville. I also really like Weekday. I think we're just gonna do one last question. I have been in kind of a dilemma about this subject and like talking too much about it, but I don't think talking about it hurts anyone. So the question is, how do you deal with anxiety? Um, and if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, I have a lot of anxiety and it's really bad at the moment. I've struggled with it for around, is it three years? I think it's three years. I have been to multiple therapists. I have been to body SDS, I think, uh, body therapy kind of thing, um, where you like push on uh, trigger points to release like tensions in your body and the different places you hold your tensions when you feel anxiety. I've also done some hypnosis. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, I've done quite a few things for it and. Um, to be honest, I don't know how I deal with it. I have now started taking medicine for it because I just cannot talk to a therapist. So I've started medication to hopefully release some of those uh, anxiety. So yeah, that's like the anxiety journey. And I honestly do feel like 2023 is the year where I will be anxiety free or at least get it under control. That was the last question of the day. I hope you enjoyed this cozy little Q&A. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions for me, you can always ask me on my Instagram or here on YouTube. I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.